Acetate is the most common organic acid found in nature in the world because it's carbon. Potassium acetate, it can be brought to the field calcium acetate, which you used some last year. Yep. Magnesium acetate, they're very soluble, very available. Plants do not have teeth, so it's got to be soluble, available for a plant to take up. And the acetate is kind of like a full back. It helps all the nutrients enter the plant. Like you said, yep. it's very soluble. Calcium, of course, is uh, important to me. Nature's claim to fame with me has always been the potassium acetate, right. but now you've developed this calcium product. Calcium is one of our most challenging nutrients. So we've used that calcium acetate product. We, we just sprayed a lot of nature's products, a uh, trying to improve our intensive rotational grazing, trying to get our nutrient density up. Uh, all of those things are very interesting to me with our cattle operation, getting acetate into those rotational grazing plants. You know, most of the time we're talking about fertility in a corner soybean crop, but in our cattle operation, it's also important to us. One thing that people uh, take advantage of, or they don't understand, they take soil test and, oh, they see a lot, uh, a bazillion pounds of calcium on there, a bazillion pounds of potassium on there. And that doesn't really mean a lot because it's got to get into the plant. It doesn't mean it's available. It's very frustrating for me when I was learning and educating and researching tons and tons of calcium in my hills, you know that. Yeah. I can't get it in the plant and calcium is the one that I continue to have to spoon feed throughout the season, no matter what the crop is. Very challenging to, to work with calcium and, and zinc for us as well. It's all about nutrient balance, which provides nutrient density and a better quality crop, a healthier crop, all those things. If you wanna to talk to Tommy more about this kind of stuff, he'll be at my field day in Dow City, Iowa on June 27th.